Yeah, that gap's not good. I need to tune that in. So. What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing my stock steel hood with a fiberglass unit that's got the scoop already molded in and as part of the hood. Uh, some of you might recall in a previous video, I talked about the scoop that's on my hood. Some, the previous owner fabricated it, molded it onto the hood, but it wasn't functional, so I cut out the hole in the hood so that I could use it for my, you know, to get air in there. But I never was planning on keeping the hood. I just wanted to just have something that it was functional until I got to the point where I could get a new hood that was the proper setup. So what I want to do in this video is just swap this hood out and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. This is one of the easiest things that I'll be doing on my car. There's four bolts and that's it. So let's get started. One of the things you should do first before you take the hood off your car is you can take this latch piece off and this pin that aligns with uh, the hood latch system down here. Take that off of your, of your existing hood and get it installed in the new one before you put everything in. Something that's easy to do right now. Uh, but when we take this off, I'm actually not going to use this and that's, I'll talk about that later in the video, but that's something you guys might want to do if you're going to reuse this on your next hood. So on here, all we've got are just four bolts. Two on each side that hold this hood in place. That's all we have to worry about to take this off the car. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but I've got a black Sharpie mark on here that I, cause I had taken this hood off uh, in the past to, to do some work. And this is a quick way to, to mark where the hood goes. Now on the, the, the bracket here, I've got the Sharpie mark on the hood. I used to have it, um, but I had since painted the hood and just make a mark so you can align the hood up where it goes so that when you go to install it back in the car or you know, what's what I had done in the past is I reinstalled it. It just makes it easy to line it up. So when you do the final fitment, you have less to worry about. So that's all we're going to need to do with that to get that set up. We can just go ahead and unbolt this. This is something to be great if you had somebody else to help you with this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up these bolts and I'll just put a towel underneath one corner while we take the bolts out and drop that corner down. Then we'll go to the other side and take the bolts out. And the hood itself, I, it's light enough that I can pick it up by myself. And I've got you know, just a set of these, these sources here that I can set the hood on when I'm done. So I'm not setting on the ground, depending on what you're going to do with your hood. You don't want to chip up the paint. I'm not going to use this hood anymore. I've got the new one, but there's something good so that I'm not tearing up the hood before I, before I'm done with everything. So let's get started. So like I was saying, we're just going to stuff a towel underneath the corner here. So when this corner drops down, we're not chipping the paint off of the fender or the bottom of the hood. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So this just takes a half inch socket and We'll just break this loose. So the trick is if you leave, if you leave this one in the back, take this one out, if the hood wants to fall forward, it won't, it'll, you know, balance off of this and catch on that. So we can take this one all the way out, but we'll just leave this guy. We'll just leave him in there loosely and we'll, we'll finish that afterwards. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this last one up, but I'm gonna hold the hood so that it doesn't fall forward, doesn't drop down. So again, if you had an extra set of hands, this would be a real great time to have that, but you can get it done by one person. And we're gonna walk over to the other side and do the other one. Okay, from here, we can go ahead and lift the hood up and I'm gonna go put on those saw horses over on the side. All right, good, we got that off of there. Got it over here on the saw horses. Again, I was saying, be careful guys. You can, if you're not too careful, you can chip up the corners on the door, or on the hood. Again, these steel hoods are pretty heavy. I, you know, again, by myself, I can get it done, but I don't remember if I did that the last time I moved the hood or not, but you do need to be careful. In this case, I'm not gonna be reusing this hood, so that's okay, but you guys are, if you're ever swapping your hood out or doing something where you take it off, just wanna be careful that you take care of it. So now over here, the next step would be to hood, put the hood back on, same way we took it off. However, the fiberglass hood I have is, it's, it's recommended that we don't use the stock springs uh, on here. They're, they're too strong and I will, ruin the hood that I have. So I'm gonna take those springs off. 
hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna, I need to solve that problem still. If I get some lighter springs or some shocks or different hinges, but I can't use those springs for now, so I'm gonna get those over here, but if you were putting on a, another steel hood, you could leave those in place. I'm gonna get these springs, I don't want them biting my fingers, so I'll just take these off. There we go, just like that. And now, there's no reason for me to get rid of these springs, but I can't use them for my new hood. And the same thing on this side, just... There we go. Take this off. Now we need to keep these in place, because without the spring in there, this, this hinge is going to want to fall down, and we need it up while we put the hood in place. I'm just going to use some vice grips. And then we'll just hold this hinge in place. There, now it won't fold on us. We put the new hood on. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And this hood is much lighter than that steel hood. So I'm just gonna set it in place here until we can get some bolts in, the, in these holes and just kind of loosely just hook it up to these hinges so that we can mess with the alignment later. But I just wanna get it attached to the car for now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, you can't really quite, you kind of see it, that black mark, the sharpie mark, I want to make sure that bolt is aligned with that. Same thing down here, and that's a good place to start. Now this hood is not the exact same as the steel one, but I'll start that there, do the same thing on the other side, and we can kind of fill with it and close it and see if we need to move it up or down and that kind of stuff. All right, here's the first thing, we let it down. You kind of want to be careful because you want to make sure that you're not binding anything on either side. Everything looks good so far. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera here, but okay, so that's all the way down. I can tell already that the bumpers, you know, you need to, there's a you know, there's a transition here, so that needs to come down more. That's just the bumpers underneath there, the, the hood stops. We can adjust that. And then back, okay, so right here, this needs, the hood needs to go back more, and plus the, this weather stripping thing underneath the hood, the cowl seal, the fiberglass is catching on that and binding it, so, Looks like I need to slide the hood back about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths. But you have to be careful because I don't want to get too much because I got to keep this transition. That right there, I mean, not the gap, but just the transition from here to here looks good. You know, the other side, this side looks like eh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's not going to be perfect right off the first bat, right? You're going to have to fine tune it. And that's what this was all about was just get it installed. See how it came out? Yeah, you can see this thing's bound, binding on here. So I just need to go back and forth and uh, just adjust a little bit. But the, the gap here isn't too bad. So that's good. That means <laughs> the hood fits. And for a fiberglass hood, I, I think this came out pretty good. Granted, I need to get the car painted and that's that's coming down the road. But um, first step, awesome. Let me, let me fine tune that a little bit. All right, here's the second attempt. Yeah, I can hear it. Still pushing on that. This is better back here. And this, I mean this, it's kind of hard to tell, but this actually has to come down. But that's also, it's partially binding up on that seal. But also the hood, the hinge is tight. The, the hood hinge that I have is really worn out and wobbly, so I might need to replace that. This is where you're gonna have to fine tune it to your car. Now see down here, I think this got worse. So I need to, I may need to pull the fender in. Maybe I need to adjust that corner. Uh, this way a little bit to pull this that way the, That's the hard part is that one video isn't going to be perfect for your car because you're gonna have to fit it to your car See this one now we're behind So I think I want to bring it back out. I, I mean, it's it's fine-tuning everything to get to where you want to be and back here in this corner see this gap it tapers so you know, again, that could be, I need to adjust the fender, maybe the hood hinge, again, the hinges are, are tired and worn out, so on your car, this fits pretty good in this corner, at least in terms of flushness kind of a thing, but it's not uh, it's not a perfect fit, but that's, you just gotta take your time, and chip away at it, and uh, and just work on it a little bit. And then, um, and then to fine tune it, we would adjust these up and down. 
uh, so that when it comes down, it's sitting, you know, on the on those door or those hood stops. But you got to make sure that yours is latched in. In my case, I'm going to have hood pins, so I don't need to worry about the latch system. But yeah, that gap's not good. I need to tune that in. So again, just take the time with your hood, and you'll be able to get it dialed in. Um, sometimes it's adjusting the 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 bolts down there. The three bolts that hold the hinge to the fender liner. Um, sometimes it takes that. Sometimes it's moving, you know, the, the two bolts on the hinge the, the, for the hood, and just kind of just chipping away at it and, and really kind of getting it so that it fits your car is really what you're looking for. All right, guys. So it's just that simple to install this hood. The, the hard part is just taking your time and loosening that bolt, moving it a sixteenth of an inch, and then really tightening it and closing the hood and see how everything fits. You know, adjusting these hood stops. So that it sits just sits down just right. You're gonna have to do that on your car. Uh, I wish I could give you all the, the 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 tricks to make your hood fit your car, but you're just gonna have to dial it in. And in the end, these cars aren't perfect. Uh, those cars you you see in the show where everything's perfect, you know, there's hundreds of hours to making that dialed in, and they'll, where they'll modify, they'll they'll shave the hood or modify the bumper or the fender or whatever for everything to fit. And if that's what your goal is, hey, go for it. It's gonna be awesome. The car will look great. Um, but in terms of just getting the hood swapped on there, it is pretty simple. It's just taking your time to dial it in when you're done. And so I'm going to have to fine tune that. And then <laughs> you can see my, this awesome hood prop here. I got to figure out what I need to do. Again, I was told those springs are too strong and I'll ruin the hood. So I need to find something else uh, to keep that held open. Or um, I've seen there's a, there's a hood latch that you can put in that fits off the core support and it will, will work for this. But um, I might do, I'll have to look into that. So for now, I'm gonna use that stick until I figure it out. So yeah, and then uh, again, you guys are gonna have, likely have that latch system in here so that you can latch your hood. I'm gonna do hood pins, so I, I won't need that, but um, I think we're set. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.